Welcome to my channel and today I'm reviewing my second present that I got from Banggood free of charge for this review video. One was the Hot Air Gun which I've already reviewed and this time it is the Xiaomi electric screwdriver or precision screwdriver probably I should say and I believe this is probably the second attempt from uh, Xiaomi in uh, this uh, precision electric screwdriver market because the first one was the Vile Stick, which was which looked um, very similar. I mean, well, it was also like you know this kind of tubular shape, but um, it had a a small sort of like docking station, and then the case was slightly different. And probably one other big change was that it had some lights uh, to illuminate whatever you were working on. And this is the new version. It's um, it is very similar in terms of spec. It has two speeds, so two, well, sorry, not two speeds, but two torque settings. And um, uh, it, it lost the light, so it doesn't have the light. The case is a slightly bigger case, which is going to hold all your bits in, uh, in a nice, easy to access format. So you don't have to, you know, pack them separately. I think it just makes the handling and, um, uh, yeah, using the, the different bits a little bit easier. And uh, the battery is a slightly bit larger. Uh, as I said, the, the torque settings are the same. And then the charger uses uh, my uh, USB-C instead of the older micro USB. And by the way, if you don't want the electric one, the very similar set is also available in just you know regular manual screwdriver. So it doesn't have the motor and everything. And I have to say that I, um, I understand that this is a, um, uh, you know, like a specialty screwdriver if you want to work on, um, you know, mobile phones and laptops because it has all these uh, very small size security bits that you do uh, usually want for a mobile phone. And to be honest, I don't even know the name of all of these, like the security torques. I think that that's just torques with a dot in the middle, but I wouldn't even know what is the pantalon. I mean, I hear that a lot. Uh, uh, in terms of uh, you know iPhones, so it d does have a lot of bits, and I don't really work on phones. Um, so to be honest, out of all these bits, probably I'm just going to use, you know, maybe, you know, five six types. So there are a few type of Phillips, and there are a few type of flat heads, and that's pretty much what I usually encounter with you know just general electronics. But the one thing I found and what I really like is that general you know plastic products um, if i use the first torque setting i can uh, usually get the screw out so it looks like that you know with, with plastic uh, uh, you know regular fasteners where you you fasten past plastic parts together the first torque setting is actually works quite good and i think that's going to be the real use of of this electric screwdriver for me because I always um, concerned about you know fastening plastic parts because I always tend to over tighten it and um, sometimes I even break the plastic piece where the screw goes into or I just you know wreck the the screw head if it's a Phillips head then the, the screwdriver just starts spinning and what I found with this one is that if I'm using this uh, the you know the first torque setting and if I hold the screwdriver firmly I can just usually get it you know just tight enough and the screwdriver is not going to spin probably the only thing I would say is that I would like or I would have liked if I can have a slightly slower speed because uh, especially when you are you know getting right at the end um, I mean even with my big screwdriver I just usually tend to slow down so I don't hit the you know the the stop um, so quickly but you know there is no speed control on this one so it, it, it spins you know not in a fast uh, pace but it definitely spins but you, you definitely need both of your hands one to hold the part and the other one is just to you know hold the screwdriver i mean in the second torque setting which i think it's 0 0.5 newton meters and the first torque setting is 0 0.02 newton meters i mean in the set, second torque setting the the uh, the screwdriver could just easily spin in your hand if you are not uh, really holding tight on it which which is not difficult i mean it has a nice ergonomic scent and and you know it 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 really feels like a very decent product very good materials i tend to uh, publish these videos quite quickly 
of course I'm also expected to do that so this product hasn't really grown on me just yet because I didn't have the time to use it but I'm planning to leave it on my desk and uh, so it's easily accessible and I have some other manual screwdriver which are using the same bit so if I need some strange bit or you know slightly bigger Phillips heads I can always get the bit from that set just to complement the you know the bits that are available on this so I think it's definitely going to be a useful addition of my workshop and this time I recorded the unboxing video first uh, meaning that you know when once I open the product when I when I get it off from the post so you can you know you can get my genuine responses on you know what I thought when I uh, opened the product for the first time so you can see the whole thing with me and on the top we are we see what type of bits are included in the kit uh, yeah and um, and another bit of you know stats here most of it is Chinese and and of course you see the the uh, the photo of the product and it's this double print so the you know it's like a matte paper but this part of it is shiny it's very nice so let's see what's inside and I think inside we have another box with a USB cable and then this thing pulls and and I have the actual screwdriver inside so box in a box so it comes with a this must be the charging cable so it's a very short uh, USB-C to USB-A cable and we have a documentation which talks about oops oh it's in Chinese but I guess it's not going to be awfully difficult to understand how this uh, product works and the force is three neurometers so that's the type of force it can exert on the screw I guess on the bit so I'm going to open this up and yep and that's the box oh and there is one more cover here enjoy your product thank you I'm certainly I'm going to enjoy this and ooh, that's a nice I think aluminium case you find some stats here as well about you know charging current and stuff like that and uh, ooh, well actually yeah it, it does feel really really nice so this is metal as well these are like very lightly rubberized uh, push buttons that's what quite nice and the whole thing is like one single cast metal and then you see the bit and then the charging and I'm assuming these would be two separate speeds yeah because it's not working now and ooh, okay that's uh, that's that's actually really really nice yeah I can I can really feel that it's uh, you know it feels much better than than anything else I have and uh, uh, this rigid end it gives a really really good grip and I can like hold it like this hmm hmm that's going to be really really good do this ah oh, okay I thought these are going to flip up so it's going to be easier to take them out but these are actually magnetically hold oh okay that's that's nice and then the tip the type of tip is actually engraved on the bit itself so this is a p2 p5 and there is a lot of other things that I have never used before so I don't think that oh okay I've used these triangle pieces I don't know if how they are called but you can see all the different pieces let me just hold it so you can see the marking or the silk screen or the silk screen there yeah the printing on them so I'm pretty sure if I run into any issues by not able not able to open something then this uh, you know bit kit is going to help me a lot and I, I'm guessing I'm going to use these uh, most of the time so this is yeah normal uh, flat headed screwdriver and a couple of Phillips and I think these are the security bits which have a hole and like a torx with a hole in the middle 
Is that it's uh, I think that's the security torques. Yeah. T T eight H. And and the very small hex as well. Anyway, let's see how it looks like. Okay. Obviously it's held on by a magnet. And then let's move it to position one. And I should be able to screw things in and out. Hmm. Okay. I think that should conclude the unboxing. Obviously, there is not much to read about this device. I think I'm going to put it on charge so I can get it fully charged. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, there is a small indicator here on the top. So that should be able to tell me if it's charging or if it's fully charged. I think I'm going to use the the leaf for my phone because that's USB-C as well and other than that it's uh, yeah it's a really nice case and then you have that piece where the uh, the uh, the bottom of the screwdriver goes into and that it feels like that's spring loaded as well so once you clip it in then it's going to keep the uh, or hold the whole thing in place so it's not going to fall out so very thoughtful design I think they have really given some thought for the, um, you know, for the small things. Oh, there is a catch here, which probably going to catch on something there. Yeah. So when I push it in, oh, okay. So this push release mechanism. So I guess you can see. I mean, yeah, I'm I'm quite impressed. I mean, I I, I do understand now. The, you know, the the big fuss about this uh, screwdriver and then. I've seen other people using it and then they, they like it and I mean I can understand it why. It's, it's really a you know nice bit of kit. Um, whether you need you know an automatic screwdriver. I mean I obviously use my big one in the shop to you know to use for big screws but uh, for electronics um, that pretty much does the same job. So if I'm uh, if I like my big power tools I should be able to like my small power tools as well. And that concludes my review of this Xiaomi Precision Electric Screwdriver. If you are interested in this product, I'm going to have purchasing links in the video description. But that will be all for today. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video.